Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Welcome to London Dairy Presbyterian Church online Mother's Day Sunday service. What a blessing to be able to worship the Lord with you freely, even though it is through video. For the announcements today, we have a few. First, it is Mother's Day today. It is a day that for some is a very happy day, but for some it hurts for various reasons. However, we would like to celebrate all LPC women, whether members or friends having children or not. We bring all of you to God in prayer, thanking Him for your precious life, for all of us at LBC. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we bring all women to you in prayer, asking that you pour your many blessings upon all. We thank you for our mothers who showed us your love, and we ask you to heal the hearts of those of us whose mothers were not able to do such a good job. But Lord, we are grateful for your care to bring us here where together we can experience your love as your LPC family. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As you know, normally we give a rose to every woman in church on Mother's Day, but we are not in church. So I have sent you a Van Gogh bookmark with flowers. And uh, if any of you did not receive it, please give me a call. I still have some left, left and I can send it to you, okay? And um, another thing is, I will take a study leave this week and to regroup spiritually and physically. And it will start tomorrow, from Monday to the next Monday. You will be blessed with a sermon from Reverend Cindy next Sunday morning. Cindy Coleman, and I will enjoy the sermon too. I'm looking forward to it. Beloved, now as through our, about of our offerings, even though some of you are fantastic sending your tithings and offerings, we are seeing a drop in our finances. And though we knew that this could happen because of the, our lockdown, we thought we would be able to keep it above what it is called the red zone. And um, I believe that we just touched that red line. And um, that said, let's step up and make sure that we send our offerings, okay? You can send by mail to London Dairy Presbyterian Church, 126 Pillsbury Road, London Dairy, New Hampshire, 03053. Or you can stop by and drop it off at the mailbox number 126 in our parking lot. You can always drop it off at my house. Not this week, because I won't be here. All right, but you can drop it off at the mailbox. Someone will be coming every day to get it. That's it for announcements. Again, happy Mother's Day. Let us worship the Lord our God now. Please listen to the word of God in John 14, verses 1 to 14. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms, if there were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, 
Lord, we don't know where you're going. So how can you, how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him as have seen him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and that, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe in me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son, you may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This week in uh, Utah, the police stopped a five-year-old boy driving a minivan in the highway. The first thought that they had is that it was a DUI case because of the way that car was swerving in the highway. It did not take long to find out it was a five-year-old driving it. And the reason for this kid's adventure, he said that he asked his mother to buy him a Lamborghini. And she told him, no, you cannot have a Lamborghini. So he took his parents' keys, a five-year-old, and he took his $3 that he owned and drove away from home to buy a, Lam a Lamborghini with his $3. <laughs> the details of the story are not what, what's important here. On this week that we celebrate Mother's Day, I am sure this boy's mom would love to give her child the whole world. But she knew that it was not right to say yes to his request. Let us pray. Most holy God, we come together in worship this day to proclaim your goodness and declare your greatness. Stir our hearts that we may bring you the worship you deserve. Send your Holy Spirit to guide us in our worship. May all we do, say and sing, bring honor and glory to, your, to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Do you remember to ask God for anything you want and need? Or do you first try to get it or resolve everything on your own? My dad used to say, God has enough on his shoulders for me to bother him with my worries, problems, and petitions. However, whenever I needed a job or I needed to pass an exam, he would say to me, don't worry, Carla, the others let the others fight for the other spots because one is already reserved for you. You have a partner up there that always has your spot saved for you. The, the thing is, my dad knew that I had no problem bothering the Lord whenever I needed. After all, he told us so. 
Check, check verse 14 of today's text. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Unless it's a five-year-old wanting a Lamborghini to drive in the highway. So whenever we ask for something, and the answer is not exactly what we expect, we must know that God has a reason for it. Just like that mother in Utah had a reason for saying no to her child. Later, her son learned the lesson and learned the reason for the no. We don't know the thoughts of God, but God knows us better than we know ourselves. And later, we would understand or will understand the whys or the reasons of God when he doesn't answer the way we want him to answer. Right now, for example, you are probably asking God, why is the world going through this pandemic, Lord? But asking why is not going to have help you much. What would help is to acknowledge that we are going through difficult times, scary times, and that it, it is very important to pray and ask the Father for provision and wisdom for us to do our parts in making each other's lives better amidst the storm. But remember, it is easy for us to, forgot, to forget to pray. It's easy to forget to ask God. So let us make effort. Let's make an amazing, tremendous effort to pray and ask the Lord for mercy and healing for our town, our church, our state, our country, and the whole world. After all, he told us, you may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Beloved, do we really, really bother to ask God? I mean, how many times a day do we remember to stop for a few seconds and say, Lord, please bring healing to the people who are contracting this coronavirus in Londonderry, in New Hampshire, in Massachusetts, and throughout the whole U.S., Lord. Also, Lord, protect those whom you are using to heal the sick and the needy and to serve us in the stores wherever you go. In your name we pray, amen. How many times are we doing this a day? Do we remember to ask? All we need to do is ask. Please, now is, it, is the time to practice chatting with God or having a prayer time. And the majority of us cannot say that we don't have time. Because we do. Anyway, as we do that, everything continues to happen in the world, in the medical field, and people are dying or going home. And this is another subject that Jesus dealt with. In that time, he was talking to the twelve. What did Jesus say? He said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. And you know the way to the place where I'm going. No, we don't, said, said Thomas. <laughs> it had to be doubting Thomas, right? Well, Thomas didn't know, obviously. But let me tell you, remember Nancy Wimmer? She did know. She really knew. And she let us all know when she was in hospice because she would say to us, don't worry about me. I'm doing well. I know where I'm going. She knew the way because of her faith in Jesus and because she trusted what Jesus said. I am the way and the truth and the life. Verse 6. But she was not, Nancy, was not a woman of a stagnant faith. She was always working, 
on bringing kindness, joy, and strength to her neighbor, which is a result of her faith. Many of us think that believing is enough. So we cross our arms. That's it. I believe. I'm so blessed. Uh-uh. The result of believing is work. That's why Jesus said on verse 12, Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. And they will do even greater things than these because I'm going to the Father. It's up to us to do the work now. What works did Jesus do when he was here? He healed the, cheap, the, the sick, fed the hungry, dressed the naked, he helped the poor. We have to find ways to do this as the body of believers at LPC. And we should start by praying and asking God, how can we be more active? Prayer is the way we should go about it. Let me repeat. Prayer is the way we should go about it. We now have an intercessors group that meets once a week to pray. Please let me know if you would like to join them and I will have them contact you. Of course, they are not meeting personally, but they have ways in, in which they meet to pray. The work Jesus wants us to do is so big that we know that we cannot do this alone. So Jesus ends the conversation on verse 13, 14, saying, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Finally, after our work is done, we should know that the good that was done was done to glorify God the Father, not to our own glory. Therefore, if we are getting anything good done, we should return the glory to God. So our challenge for today, for this week, for us, is to pray more, to pray more often for healing and protection against this deadly virus. Another challenge is to pray for ways in which we can do the work of the Lord when the same work he did when he was here. To heal the sick, help the poor, feed the hungry, dress the naked. We can pray for that. And then another challenge, the one that we have to do is to work on strengthening our faith so we do not feel lost for we know the way may we also be able to say with all our hearts that we know where we are going amen amen let's pray the prayers of the people in the lord's prayer well the Litchfield Presbyterian Church is on the Presbyterian's calendar for prayer today, this Sunday. So we can include them in our prayer. Oh Lord, we lift to you the people of our church and the Litchfield Church who is in transition. Also, we lift all in our country and the whole world dealing with COVID-19, especially those in the front line. Holy and wonderful God, please take all the requests of our hearts into your healing, blessing, and caring hands. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom 
in the power, in the glory forever. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, may the peace of God, which shines brightly and vanquishes all darkness, be with you through these pandemic times. May the love of God, his mercy and joy continue to fill your hearts throughout this week. May God the Father strengthen our faith in order that we may become more effective in our ministry, in our service, and in our witness to the community. In the name of the risen Christ, we pray. Amen.